All right, anyway guys, what I wanted to do was make a grounding strap, a grounding bar to go underneath inside so I can ground all one side and uh, fuse block the power side. So um, what I did was I took a piece of copper tubing and I just put it in a vise and uh, flattened it out, bent it, and uh, there we go. Now I got a grounding bar. I'm going to drill holes. Now if I have enough actual nut and bolts, that's what I want to use. If not, I'll just tap it, you know, so I can just thread into it. But because this is soft, I would prefer to have nut and bolts. Um, if it was thicker, I wouldn't care with the tapping because I'd have enough threads to help it. But because of the thinness of it, which is plenty okay, uh, again, the nut and bolts are going to be a lot better and I'm, I'm almost sure I have them so I'm going to look through my uh, supplies and drill some holes and, and I'll be all set so but that's where I'm at I took a piece of copper tubing put it in the vise flattened it out made some bends and there we go now there we are lock nutted from there now I can just undo the top, tighten it down, lock washer there. We're all set. Grounding strap done. When I screw this down, what I'll do is I'll make one on each side, the grounding coming from the vehicle, so that I'll have a ground feed from both sides. Grounds are important. You want your grounds as short as possible. And you also want them. A little bit larger than the normal if you can because the faster it gets out through the ground the quicker it can come in and you won't end up with any squealing feedback ground loops stuff like that so there's a there's a lot involved with grounding believe it or not so you always want your grounds as short as possible all right if you have to lengthen it then you want to thicken the wire all right you want to have your gauge because you want to you want to be able to get out you want the ground to move you want the you want the current to flow so, so that's where we're at, guys. Piece of uh, half-inch copper tubing flattened out in the vise, and some stainless steel screws, and we're ready to go.